Hey, what's up? What's happening? We're back. Sit down with Swayze. Hope you're ready to talk about what's happening this week. First and foremost, first and foremost, I'm doing something a little bit different in the background today. There might be a little bit of crackle in the background. My left bumper on my controller took, 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 took a break, took a break from working. So, uh, we, I got put PUBG player unknowns battleground in the background. Um, to be honest, if the volume gets annoying, we, we might just cut it. I'm recording this early. Okay. It's transition. Here we are. I'm at the shooting range. Got him too easy. <clears throat> I'm recording this early because I'm on vacation. Right now, I am on vacation, okay? By the time this comes out, I'll be coming back from vacation. Friday, I'll be back. I'll be coming home, all right? And you might be asking, where are you going? Swayze, where are you going? I'm going to the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Gatlinburg, give or take. Uh, it's going to be... Something fun to do, the, the whole idea is to just kind of get away, disconnect for a little bit. We're taking the dogs, we're going to go hiking, um, and just, it, it's it's going to be a great time. Now that we got the video games out of the way, to be completely honest, I think I'm just going to shut it down, because, why not? Honestly, I want to talk to you more than anything. Going to Gatlinburg, so... Um, for the last few months, I've been talking about how I want to take a vacation. I need a vacation. I know it needs a vacation, but I want to take a vacation. Um, and we decided that Tennessee would be the place to go. The weather next week or this upcoming week or this week when this comes out, this past week, um, not supposed to be great. So we're really hoping that we get some breaks and then we can still go out and have fun with the dogs. And, um, it, it, it it'll be fun memorable um and just we'll come back with some really happy and really tired puppies next all right now there's a show silicon valley okay it's a little bit witty it's a little bit nerdy it's very tech geeky if it's um if you if you like that stuff and you're looking for a new show i really recommend it um thomas middle ditch is the main guy he Recently came out with something on Netflix with uh, John Ralphio from Parks and Rec. I don't remember his real name. Um, I think he's a great actor. He's very funny in how he portrays an awkward, I don't know what I'm doing guy. And then over six seasons, you see him kind of transition into uh, a major, a major role, an interesting person. However... There was one line near the end of the show that was hilarious and just dumbfounding, okay? Um, so this main character, Richard, played by Thomas Middleditch, right? Uh, at one point, he looks at someone and he goes, kiss my piss. And that's the most awkward line I've ever heard in my entire life. And I kind of want to tell that to someone. I really want to be like, hey kiss my piss you know like it's it makes no sense you have to think about how terrible it is it's just cringy and it's so funny how it comes off one of the other really good things about the show uh if you're a fan of the office gabe from the office is on the show he plays another lanky weird awkward white dude um it he handles that role very well I think that's the best way to put it. So if it's something that, if you're looking for a different show, it's on Amazon Prime. I recommend it. I think D and I finished it in about a week and a half. So it, it's doable. It's 30 minute episodes. There's like a minute recap in the beginning. Two minutes of just song and credits at the end. So really it's not bad. I mean, you, you'll fly through it. The next big thing that I want to talk about this week is probably my... Um, what I'm most excited about is the Tony Hawk Pro Skater Remaster. Um, I think it's coming out this fall. Just so many good memories of this game. If you know me, if you personally know me, like I played this game, this franchise all the time from when I was 
eight or nine all the way until I was like 16, 17. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I mean, I lost hours, days, months, years to those games. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 was the first game that I tried to speed run. I beat the whole game in 59 minutes, including the cruise ship level, the bonus level at the end. I mean, just everything about it was so much fun. Tony Hawk Underground, I personally think that's kind of like when it started going downhill. But anyway, I mean, we're talking about the original number one and two are coming back. It's going to be so fun to revisit some of those maps. I mean, we're talking like Portland, Oregon, um, the Minneapolis level in the original Tony Hawk. I remember being like nine and... When I was real little, my parents divorced, right? So, dad, um, that was where all of the neighborhood friends lived, was at, around dad's house. Mom, that was like a 20, 25 minute drive away, didn't have too many friends out there. So, when I could get friends to come over, it would be just so much fun, so awesome, right? I remember one night, my buddy John came over. And we probably played the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater from 9 at night until like 3 in the morning, which is totally what you should not be doing as a 9-year-old. But one of the best memories ever that I have, I remember skating that Minneapolis level with him. We were doing uh, split screen. Oh my god, gaming has changed so much. Split screen for hours just battling um, over like taxi cabs and there was... I want to say like a 12 stair set like don't like those memories are so good please just don't don't take it don't take for granted that stuff um i mean and then uh, tony Hawk pro skater 2 i mean we're talking like venice uh, just um was there a mall level in two i feel like there was a mall I, like it's been so long i'm so excited to play those again so if you enjoy the Tony Hawk Pro Skater franchise, you haven't heard of that. It's coming out later this year. Tony Hawk has been doing a bunch of promo for it. It's been really cool to see just how far skateboarding has come. Because, I mean, without that game, I, it probably is still super underground. I mean, it really is. Like, especially in Ohio. Like, it, who, why, you can only skate outside six months of the year here. I mean, nine if you're insane but just i mean good memories man is just ah oh, so excited <laughs> oh my god um all right now there's one final thing that i want to i want to cover before we go okay not too long on the sit down with sways this week but if you're um cooped up quarantine's going on the pandemic everything's um, kind of coming to an end. The weather is getting nicer. People are starting to feel better, right? They want to get out. They want to do things. I understand. Be responsible. Be safe. Be respectable if you're going to go do anything around groups of people. However, the, the thing that I want to cover is because the weather is turning, these people are going to parks more, okay? City parks, state parks, national parks, um, and it's not necessarily the normal park goers. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to sound a little preachy for a minute here, but if you're going out to a park and that's not normally something you do, I just ask that you be respectful. Okay. And this is exactly what I mean. So we, we walk the dogs at these parks often. I mean, we, we try to take the dogs for walks five, six days a week. The amount of litter now that is that is at parks, uh, the amount of people that just don't really care about anything, um, the vandalism is increasing for all parks, everywhere. I mean, it doesn't matter, good neighborhood, bad neighborhood, um, like what big park, small park, fat park, skinny park, whatever. Just, I mean, a lot of people really care about nature. A lot of people just want to get away and kind of decompress and just don't be a butthole that's it just don't be a butthole i it's not hard i mean if you're like hey is this gonna uh negatively impact nature then don't do it don't go buy something and break it on your own man your money your problem so this all culminates in this story right 
uh, D and I are out walking a few days ago. We're taking the dogs. We're coming around this bend at this park. There's a lake, right? And we hear some arguing in the background. It's this guy. He's swearing. He's so mad. Like, just, he's going off, right? And as we finally have clear view of him, he has a tackle box, right? And he takes the tackle box and everything in it, he just throws into the lake. I mean, everything. Lures tackle gear like it's all now floating in the middle of the lake he's with his girlfriend and his girlfriend is doing that hushed like she's like what, what are you doing what are you doing you're acting like an ass what are you doing you're acting like an asshole um there's people next to him they're looking at him like he's got a dick on his forehead it's taking everything in me to not laugh at him and to not be like, dude, what what are you doing? You're throwing a temper tantrum as a 20-year-old adult. Okay? Now, it gets better. Karma is swift. So he storms off. He's walking back down the trail that we're coming from. And he decides, about 50 feet away from where this all happened from his girlfriend, he hears some chattering. And he decides that he's going to punch a tree. Okay, now the tree is about the size of this microphone. It's not large, right? It's it's a smaller tree. So he just cocks back, right? And he just punches this tree. It's incredible. And the chattering happens. He stops. He he decides that he's gonna turn her out. And what he when he turns, he looks at his hand and he does this, and clearly not everything's working. Like clearly he really punched this tree way too hard for absolutely no reason. So if you're gonna go to the park, if you're gonna enjoy nature, I mean please go. That's why they're there. Have fun. Enjoy your life. But one, don't look like a fool and punch trees. It's just not a good look. And two, um, just, I mean, a lot of people like to do this. A lot of people go to these places all the time. Just don't be a butthole. That's really it. Just don't be a butthole. So um, if you're looking for things to watch this week, I really recommend the show Silicon Valley. Kiss My Piss is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, please, you know, don't punch trees. I think that's the biggest takeaway from my nature segment here and uh vacation there's gonna be a bunch of content lined up this week new rocket league decision making came out monday the full interview with one of my favorite guests of all time um from monday that's coming out wednesday and then this is the day that i get back and then we should see more rocket league stuff next week so comment down below about anything that you want to talk about i love doing these it just helps get things off my chest and i get to laugh about a few things I get to reminisce about the good days with tony hawk pro skater um yeah let me know subscribe if you want more content everything should be kind of picking up here a little bit and i'm really excited and just be safe out there please please make sure that both physically and mentally you were doing okay i care about you i don't i might not know you but i don't want anyone hurt i don't want anyone sad i want to have a good time except that kid that punched a tree i mean that was just that was just silly so take care i'll see you soon for the next sit down with Sways. Can't wait. <laughs>